privacy fine set aside and save this process. In the quarter we report that sent share tired. The leading social network lost the profit of just 4 billion down 51% from the year earlier on revenue that climbed 26% to just 1 billion in the first 3 months of this year. The number of monthly active users of Facebook at the end of March was 2.38 billion, up 8% from a year ago. Facebook estimated that it will be hit with a fine of billion to billion by the United States Federal Trade Commission for user data practices and factor that into its earnings report. The matter remains in result, and there can be no assurance as to the timing for the terms of any final outcome, the California-based company said in the release. Facebook shares rallied more than 8% in after hours trade following the results. Profits would have stopped Wall Street forecasts but not for the money put aside for the expected FTC fine. We had a good quarter and our business and community continue to grow, Facebook chief executive and co-founder Mark Zuckerberg said in a statement. We are focused on building out our privacy-focused vision for the future of social networking, and working collaboratively to address important issues around the Internet. The FCC announced last year it was reopening its investigation into Facebook for potential violations of the 2011 settlement over privacy practices. Solid results over the past year. The social network has come under fire following revelations on the hijacking of personal data of tens of millions of users by Cambridge Analytica, a consultancy working for Donald Trump's 2016 campaign. A series of other revelations show Facebook may have also shared more private data with business partners and advertisers than it has reported, and may have exposed some personal information that should have been secured. At the same time, Facebook has been hiring thousands of additional employees to deal with issues such as hate speech, incitement to violence and manipulation aimed at voters. Facebook said its employee count was 37,773 as of March 31st, an increase of 36% over the past year. Despite the controversy, some 2.7 billion people use at least one of the family of the company's applications including the core Facebook network, Instagram, and messaging applications WhatsApp and Messenger. The latest results show solid performance in revenue and user growth, said analyst Deborah Ho Williamson of the research firm and marketer. Williamson said advertisers are staying with Facebook despite controversies that have plagued the social networking giant. While, marketers may say privately that they do worry about Facebook's problems with fake news, election meddling, privacy and more, they worry more about their own financial health, and Facebook is still a major partner in that regard, Williamson said. Digital living rooms during an earnings call, Zuckerberg stressed efforts to make the social network a place for sharing privacy in small, groups as well as for connecting publicly with vast numbers of people. Facebook has become the digital equivalent of a town square, Zuckerberg said. People increasingly want the intimacy of connecting privately as well, there needs to be a digital equivalent of the living room. He said making Facebook a more privacy-focused platform includes making priorities of encrypted messaging, making shared posts more ephemeral, and not storing user data in countries where it won't be well protected. Zuckerberg renewed his call for consistent, global regulation regarding data privacy, acceptable content, free speech, and election meddling rather than leaving such decisions to private companies. Regulations that hamper Facebook's ability to target us were expected to hamper profit in coming quarters, but the company plans to continue to invest heavily in its platform, executives said. I understand that any regulation might hurt our business, Zuckerberg said. But, Getting this regulation right is more important. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe.